All right, we're going to switch things up a little bit right now and take a closer look at an issue that doesn't often get a lot of attention in this country, maternal mortality, and why some black babies and their mothers never make it out of some delivery rooms in this country. So according to the CDC, black babies are twice as likely to die before reaching their first birthday than white babies. And because of the discrepancies, more women of color are now seeking help from black doulas, people typically women employed to provide guidance and support during pregnancies and sometimes after the birth. We want to bring in Nina ba uh, Badur. I hope I said it properly. Nina, uh, she's a freelance writer and uh, she wrote an article called How Black Doulas Are Fighting the Maternal Mortality Crisis. It's on uh, CBSNews.com and she joins us now. Um, so, Nina, this is a topic that it just, I think that people might hear it in passing, but they don't realize how, you know, I'm going to say embarrassing the statistics are for this country when it comes to black pregnant mothers. Um, the data from the CDC shows that black women and babies are more likely to die uh, while giving birth. So explain just, you know, why that is happening in this country, because in some cases, the statistics are competitive with developing countries that have a health care system that doesn't come anywhere close to what we have here. Absolutely. Well, good morning. Thank you so much for having me on to speak about this. So black moms are three to four times more likely to die from pregnancy or childbirth related complications than white ones in the United States. And the numbers are even worse for native families. Um, overall, the US has a very, very high maternal mortality rate. And the CDC thinks that a full 60% of these deaths could be prevented. So major causes of death for these mothers include hemorrhage, infections, embolisms, and hypertensive disorders. Some of these are completely unpredictable, horrible accidents. Many are not. And unfortunately, there's no one simple cause for these racial disparities. What we do know is that compared to white moms, black women in the US are more likely to be uninsured. They face greater financial barriers to care when they need it, and they are less likely to access prenatal care overall. So all of these factors come together to create this incredible crisis that we should all be extremely worried about. So why are more and more women increasingly turning to doulas? So anecdotally, there is extremely high demand for doulas. Um, a doula, as we talked about, is not a trained medical professional, but they provide emotional support. They provide information and education. Um, and the research shows that working with a doula really affects your outcomes. Women who work with doulas are less likely to have a cesarean birth. They are less likely to have a preterm birth. Um, working with a doula can be an incredibly empowering process for many, many families. They get to learn what type of questions to ask. Um, they are taught you know, how to have a conversation with their doctor, to ask for a second opinion, to ask for side effects, to ask for pros and cons, to turn their healthcare process into more of a conversation rather than they're being told this is the one option that you have to go for. Yeah, you know, the thing about, the thing about doulas is that they are an advocate for you. And uh, we know through studies that often within the healthcare industry, um, African Americans, when they complain about pain or other issues, are not always taken as seriously as white patients. But now we bring in the coronavirus, and that means you know the people who can access hospitals has been severely restricted. How do these new guidelines impact Black mothers in the delivery room? Yes, it's a huge problem we're seeing um, at the moment. Many hospitals around the country will allow moms to have one support person with them during labor and delivery. So as prior to the pandemic, you could come in, you could have your partner there, your mother there, your doula there, you know, your sister's down the hall, your friends are coming later to meet the baby. Now you have to pick just one person to be there with you. And that depends where in the country you are. And of course, these guidelines are designed to keep all of us as safe as possible. But that does mean that doulas have to get very creative about the care that they're offering right now. Um, some will be on FaceTime with mothers while they're in the hospital. Some will be on the phone with the partner. Um, some people are texting. You know, they're doing everything they can to make it work through labor and delivery. But there is a concern that the coronavirus will affect these numbers. Um, we're worried that mothers are too afraid to go into their appointments in clinics or hospitals because they're concerned about potentially getting the coronavirus. Um, and we're also very worried that people might 
dismiss potentially worrying symptoms, thinking, well, it's probably nothing. I don't want to get it checked out. Doctors are already so overwhelmed. Um, and our hardworking medical staff are completely overwhelmed. So we're still waiting to see the data from this, but there is a major concern among researchers that the pandemic could worsen these numbers for us. The cost associated with healthcare is one of the reasons we see these disparities in the type of care people receive. Uh, can a typical working middle-class uh, black mom afford care from a personal doula? Well, as with so many things, this really does depend um, on where you're located. So some areas have a number of free community-based services for low-income families. There are some pilot programs nationwide offering free or low-cost doula services to lower-income families. Generally speaking, I've seen prices range from about $500 for discounted services up to somewhere in the 4,000 to 5,000 range for out-of-pocket an entire um, prenatal delivery and postpartum service. But again, it depends on a number of factors. What's the type of service you're looking for? Where do you live? What's your family income? And then of course, does your insurance cover it? So some plans will reimburse you up to a certain amount for doula care. Um, but on an individual level, many, many doulas will offer sliding scale fees or they will um, have more affluent clients sponsor another family's services. So if you want to work with a doula, but you're not sure you could afford it, I would highly recommend you contact some local doulas anyway. They will do everything in their power to get you set up with someone. Really important information there. Uh, Nina Bahadur, uh, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thank you very much.